Hello everyone, in this video we are going to start with a new unit, unit 2, uh, from uh, the book uh, Matter and Energy uh, book, uh, unit 2 which is about uh, the energy, and uh, in this lesson, lesson 1, we want to talk about uh, the introduction, uh, introduction to energy. Um, actually in this video uh, we want to focus on uh, the meaning of the energy, also, we want to compare uh, kinetic energy and uh, potential energy. Uh, then we want to classify an object's uh, energy as uh, either kinetic energy, potential energy, or uh, both. Uh, to start our uh, lesson, I want you to open your book with me, page 101. We want to solve a question one here, which is uh, you have here uh, four, uh, uh, four true or false statements. We want to know which one is true and which one uh, is false. Uh, let's start with the first one. Energy can change from one uh, form to another. Do you think this uh, statement is correct? Uh, true or false? Yeah, sure, this one is true. Okay, the second one, the second one, an object can have only one type of energy at a time. Yani if you if there is any object, yani it should contain only one energy form or it might contain more than one energy. What do you think? So this one is false. The object it might contain more than one form of energy. The sec the third statement, if an object has energy, it must be moving. Yani if there is any object it has energy it should be uh, yani this object it should move to tell this object has energy for sure no and we will talk about these uh, points in more details uh, the last one all energy it travels in waves do you think this one correct actually this one is false and we want well, uh, inshallah, during this uh, lesson, we'll talk about it in more details to explain these statements in more details. To start our lesson now, let's because we are talking about energy, what is the meaning of energy? Energy is the ability to cause change. If you want to define energy, is the ability to cause change. Also, you have to put in your mind. Energy takes many different forms. There are many forms of energy. It's not only one form of energy. These form are formed and causes many different effects. Because of this energy, many different effects may be uh, caused. Okay? So, you have also to know there are two main types of energy. What are these two main types of energy? The first type, which is Let's write it here. The first type, kinetic energy, number one. The second one, which is potential energy. You have to put in your mind now, I'm talking about the main types. There are different forms of energy, but the main types of energy, kinetic energy and potential energy energy let's now define what does kinetic energy mean to understand what is a kinetic energy kinetic energy is the energy of an object that is due to motion any object is moving it has kinetic energy it's all here it's due to what due to motion all moving objects have kinetic energy so this is about the kinetic energy what about the amount of kinetic energy uh, and uh, the, the, what are the factors? Let's talk about now the factors that affect the kinetic energy. There are two factors. The, fir the first factor, which is mass, number one. Number two, the speed. Okay, what does that mean? These factors now, the mass of an object. Yeah, if you have two objects, one of these objects, let's talk about, I'll give you an example here. If you have two objects, this is object number one. And uh, this is object number two. And I told you the mass of object number one. This is object number one. This is object number two. The mass of object number one, which is uh, three grams, let's say. Okay. And the mass of object uh, 2, which is 10 grams. The object with more mass 
and it's moving it has more kinetic energy which means here object number two it has more kinetic energy if it's moving and both of them both of them object one and object two are moving for two because it has more mass it has what more kinetic energy okay so this is about what the mass okay what is the second what is the second um, factor that affect the kinetic energy the second factor that affect the kinetic energy which is the speed which means if you have two what you have two objects these two objects now they have the same mass you have to put it in your mind these two objects they have object number one object number two both of them they have the same mass this one let's say three grams and number two it has this is number one number two it has two grams uh, sorry three grams the same mass but the speed of the first one or or object number one um the speed of it will just say a five meter per second the speed of number two they have the same mass again but the speed of number two which is seven meter per second which one it has more speed the uh, the fastest which is two which one it has more energy number two as the speed increase the kinetic energy the object has is more so let you have to put in your mind the two factors again that affect the kinetic energy the first one the mass the second one which is the speed as the mass increase uh, so the kinetic energy increase as the speed increase the kinetic energy increase so here you have to put it in your mind kinetic energy increases as mass increases and as speed increases these are the two factors that they cannot take the amount of kinetic energy an object has okay so this is about what the kinetic energy let's talk about the second type of energy or the second main type of energy which is what which is potential energy what is potential energy uh, simply to say to talk about it it's a stored energy the energy inside the things which means is the energy that an object has due to its position condition or chemical composition okay so what does that mean let's talk about it in more details here potential energy that uh, that is the result of an object position is called gravitational potential energy okay it's not clear yet let's look at this one here i'll give you an example if there is um this is a tree okay let's say this is a tree okay and uh, this one here another um, tree here imagine it's an apple tree imagine it's an apple tree let's say i'll put apple here for example and apple here for this apple okay both of them both of these trees they are above the ground right above this is the ground this is the planet this is the earth for this tree the uh, for these apples the tree hold the apple if the uh, if this tree can yani uh, if, yani if you cut this tree from the uh, the this apple from the tree it will go down to the ground because of the uh, gravity right the same thing for the second apple here now when they are on the tree they have an energy this energy is called what gravitational potential energy and yani they store inside them a type of energy which is called what gravitational potential energy okay which one it has more gravitational potential energy uh, this is tree number one and this is a tree number two for tree number one it has more because it's higher yani above the ground it has more sp space between the ground and the tree here is less okay so the first one for potential energy in general it's a stored energy 
Example of it, what? Because of the position, a gravitational potential energy. A gravitational potential energy. Any object that is above the earth, the ground, is stored inside it, what? Gravitational potential energy. Okay? Then, what is the second form of, uh, of potential energy? The second, uh, this is the first one. Let's uh, repeat it again. Potential energy that is the result of an object position is called gravitational potential energy, as we dis uh, as we explained uh, for the tree. A gravitational potential energy increases as object height or mass increases, which means we have two factors that affect what the gravitational potential energy. Factor number one, the height. As we said, uh, we have mentioned for two trees, one of the, them is higher than the other, and the mass. As the mass increases, the gravitational potential increases. As the height increases, the gravitational potential uh, energy increases. So, this is here in general the first form of potential energy, which is gravitational potential energy, which is caused by its position depends on the position and the factors one height the second one is the mass now uh, this is all about the kinetic and potential energy actually we didn't finish uh, talking about potential energy we will continue talking about potential energy uh, if you have any question about the meaning of kinetic energy the meaning of potential energy and the gravitational potential energy you can send me your uh, questions thank you for listening